to Sculpt Studios for this video here today. Estimated time of arrival with the project finished to be around 5.20 to 5.5 minutes and we'll be cruising along through this job at a fair pace, so sit back, relax, feel free to make use of any beverages nearby and enjoy the ride. We've been contacted by Richard Outram from OHS, a company for aviation, maritime, models and collectible gifts, with the project of creating a small-scale model of an Embracer 195 aircraft. This is for the Flybe Regional Airline Company to go up to the Robin Hood Airport in Doncaster. While we've had larger jobs like the Angry Birds and the Lion Mountain project in the studio, Chris has been sculpting the plane out of polystyrene, so thank you very much Captain Chris. The aim of this aircraft is to travel on top of a sponsored car for a parade that goes behind cyclists in a UK road race. So this needs to be appropriate, not only for outside use, but for use on top of a vehicle. We've had a small model sent down to the studio to copy from, and we've got scale drawings so that we've got all the correct measurements. The plane's being made at 2 metres long, with the wingspan in proportion, and we're going to be given the polystyrene master pattern here, a blanket coat of glass fibre. We're going over with our ever trusty adhesive sticky back foil to protect the polystyrene from the resin and making sure that every inch is covered. Aiden's professional interviewing skills here being put to good use. You just tell us what, what you are, you can't Daryl, you've got a, you've got a mouth thing. What Daryl probably would have said is that we're going down the blanket code route for this job as only one of these planes is needed, so a mould for multiple replication isn't necessary. Providing we can keep the fiberglass nice and neat and clean it up to a smooth finish, we can work it up to that semi car body fill before the paint and the decals are added. We go over with car body fillers and sand it back several times, continually working up the surface. For the wing tips, we've got some acrylic plastic here that we're using our hot wire table to bend to the correct angle, and this is so the wing tips are strong enough to withstand the wind whilst the car is driving. Once again, Aiden's interviewing for the video. Right, Sam. Well, what do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take, take four. Okay. So we managed to cut a template out. Paper uh, sign first. Scaled it up to the original measurements and cut this perspex. Then sanded the edges down. And here we are. Uh, we're going to fit almost a flathead bolt. Screw it through so it's secured and it won't come off during the, uh, the travel on top of the car. Yeah. Oh, it looks good so far, doesn't it? I'll it's just look, go around the front. It's looking pretty fly, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, look at that. To help keep the cost down for the client, for this job we're using water-based emulsion paints and later on we'll go over with a clear lacquer to give us a little protection from the elements. We've been sent the colours that we need to match to the Flybe logo and the company theming, as well as graphics that we need to have printed to add to the fuselage. So that this can be mounted onto the car, we're adding brackets on the wings and on the tail that allow the plane to be bolted to a roof rack. The bracket at the back has a telescopic stand that allows the angle of the plane to dip the nose forward or tilt the whole plane upwards, so the client can have control of the pitch of the plane once it's loaded on. This is one of those times where you don't want the plane to successfully take off. Here's the plane all finished now, with the clear lacquer applied to seal in the paint and the decals, and it's sent off to board the Flybe company car. We managed to keep track of the plane on Twitter, as it made its way through various locations around the UK, and we've grabbed a few final images from the net to share in our video. We'd like to thank Richard Outram from OHS for coming to us with the work and for trusting us as a new company for him to create this to these specifications. We hope Flybe were happy with the plane as well and we wonder where it's jetting off to next. 
please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.